Hare Krishna. Today's topic is Do we believe in God? This is probably a very common question most of us have right from our childhood. Who is God? And if at all, if there is a God, where is He? There is a common understanding that if we have to believe something, we say that, have you seen it? So we depend more on our eyes than on any other parts of our body. There are some basic questions if we ask ourselves, perhaps most of us during our childhood, these inquisitive questions we must have asked our parents or our elders. How is that the sun rises in the morning and it sets in the evening? It's a very surprising thing that how this whole cosmic universe is automatically manifested and it is running. If we just take an example, I am working in a factory. To run this factory, we need thousands of people. And there are numerous operators to bring a product to the market. So many hands behind this. There are engineers who design it, the marketing personnel who sell it, there are operators and engineers actually manufacture it. There is a technology which is required for making this product and finally it reached to, reaches to the customer. What we see at the end is only the product, but beyond, behind this, there are so many hands. So when we believe that a particular substance that we take in material world, that somebody who has made it. But when it comes to the question of this universe, such a complex and uh, huge and such a surprising thing that we observe, how the sun is uh, rotating, how the wind is flowing, how the rain takes place automatically. It's so surprising to see the water from the sea, you know, by the sun's rays, it is, it goes up in the form of cloud and it is stored as a cloud. It is a huge mass of water and appropriately during June, July, August, the same water which is in the purified form falls as in the form of a rain. Now how this whole cycle is controlled? Who controls this? If, if at all we have to lift a, some quantity of water, we need a pump, we need a pipe, we need a source of power and then we need a tank on the top to store it and then we can get the water in the tap. But look at this universe, how this whole thing happens. There is no pump, there is no pipe, there is no tank, but still precisely the whole cycle is controlled. Not only that, the sea water which is salty and it goes up and it is in the form of purified distilled water, it falls down. If you have to put up a distilled water plant, there are so many people behind this. So we believe a simple thing that there is an object or there is some creation. We believe that there is some creator. So this is the basic premises. Look at so many beautiful flowers. These flowers have got different seeds. From the different seeds, different flowers are coming. Although we supply the same water, there is the same soil, but beautiful different flowers with different colors and different fragrance coming. Who controls this? That means there is a formula written into those seeds. Who writes this formula? Who designs these seeds? If we ask this basic question, perhaps we, have, we will scratch our head. But there is a common belief that if there is some supreme energy which controls this universe. And then who is that supreme energy? Who controls this universe? And in order to understand this precisely, this is explained very nicely by the Supreme Creator Himself in Bhagavad Gita. Aham Sarvasya Prabhu Matta Sarvam Pravartate Iti Matva Bhajante Maam Buddha Bhava Samanvita. 
I am the source of everything and everything emanates from me. The one who worships me, understanding this becomes intelligent. Similarly, the supreme creator who has created this universe explains in Bhagavad Gita, Maya adhyakshena prakriti suyate sa chara acharam hetu nanena kaunte jagad vi parivartati Under my control and direction, the whole cosmic manifestation is controlled and it is running. So if we have to believe the speech of the Supreme Lord and also if, if at all, if, if you are not believing this, but if we ask ourselves the questions, how is this creation happen? Then we are forced to believe that there is some supreme energy and that supreme energy is God. And there is one supreme God for the whole cosmic universe. Like for example, to understand a simple analogy, for this state there is one chief minister and for the country there is a one prime minister. Although the prime minister is sitting in Delhi, but his energy, the order is dissipated everywhere, every part of the country. Similarly, there is one supreme God who is sitting at a very highest position and the whole cosmic manifestation, whole cosmic universe is running under his control and order. Of course, there are people who are working for, for prime minister or for chief minister. There are ministers and so many executives who carry his orders and working under him. Similarly, for the Supreme Lord, there are people, there are demigods who carry his orders and uh, help him to control this whole universe. So this is the verdict of all Shastras that there is a God and because of the God's energy, the whole creation, the whole universe is moving. And not only that, it is also surprising to see how that a human body with so many complexities inside functions. Look at the way the child is born in the mother's womb. Who supplies the food there? Even mother does not know, although she is carrying a baby, she does not know that what the child is eating and how it sustains inside. Under such constrained situation, such constrained place, we all have been born and during our birth time, who supplies us food? Who maintains us? Who maintains us? And uh, this is, so all of us have undergone this and this forces us to believe that there is something which is a supreme energy which controls everything and that supreme energy people call it as maybe they worship as Allah or a God or supreme energy but the Bhagavad Gita explains that who is this supreme God Lord Vishnu or Lord Krishna is the source and supreme God and from which from whom the every everything is emanated so there is a God and uh, we ourselves can experience and uh, understand or we can hear from those who have realized God that who is God, what is his nature, where he is he and how he controls this can all be the knowledge uh, can be sought from the scriptures like Bhagavad Gita and Srimad Bhagavatam. Thank you very much.